I am here today with a how-to on how to build this. And um, this is the monitor stand that I built and designed. So I'm gonna walk you through how to build it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have like a plan. Uh, and it really helps to have something written out that you can just look at and kind of have an idea of where you're going with it. Uh, to see my plans, I actually have a link uh, in the description where you can check them out for yourself so you can build the exact same thing uh, to the right dimensions and whatnot. So after I had my plan all drawn out and written up and whatnot, I then measured out the wood. And then after doing that, I cut up the wood on the table saw. Cutting out the pieces was actually somewhat time consuming because what I did was I cut the pieces and then I cut the miters on the ends of the pieces just to make sure that they are absolutely perfectly sized. I'm not gonna verbally tell you the measurements. Uh, you can just look at the plans that I have. I have all the measurements on that. Uh, it'll just be a little bit easier to follow along. After getting all the pieces cut out and ready to go, I used some masking tape to hold the legs onto the top while I let the glue dry. Now, while the glue was drying, I then decided I wanted to put a back plate on it so what I did was I just kind of sat it on the edge of the scrap wood that I had and just traced along. Then after having my shape drawn out, I put it on the table saw and cut it out. This actually took me three tries because I was freehanding the legs and I kept making it too small uh, until I got it on the third try. And uh, what I would actually recommend doing is cut it a little bit too big and actually sanding it uh, pretty heavily to the right size. That'll make sure that it actually fits very tightly. So after doing all that, I waited a day to let the glue dry, and the following day I began sanding. So the whole sanding process actually took about six hours, but you don't have to go that overkill. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that it was nice and very smooth. Uh, my progression for sanding was uh, 50 to 80 and then straight to 220 because I didn't have any 120 or anything like that. Once all the sanding was done, I then realized that I forgot to put a hole in the back plate. So I then clamped a piece of scrap wood to the underside of the wood so I wouldn't have any splintering and whatnot. Uh, and then I drilled a pilot hole and then put a big hole in it using a one inch spade bit. Then after drilling the, the big hole, I drew the shape that I wanted the hole to be and I uh, got out a coping saw and I cut out the rest of the shape. Then I pulled out the Dremel and I sanded down the inside of the hole so it was nice and smooth. That was pretty much all of the building part. Now. Uh, after this was all finishing. So I used the same finishing wax that I actually used on the cable management clip. To use this finishing wax, what you do is you wipe the wax into the wood um, pretty well. You, you wanna make sure it's soaked up all the wax or whatever. Uh, and then you let it sit for 15 minutes doing nothing to let the wax dry. Then you come in and you buff the wax. Now I used a Dremel, uh, but doing something the size of this is fairly inefficient so uh, it left uh, some weird looking lines so that I then used the foam e-pad thing on a uh, sander uh, to smooth it out. Buffing out the wax was the final step and once you finish you end up with this. that's really all to building this monitor stand and like I said at the beginning of the video um, in the description the first link should be uh, a link to where you can get the plans that I made for this here monitor stand uh, and if you like this video hit the thumbs up button leave a comment I can improve future videos suggest a future video subscribe to my channel so you can see more content that I put out and that's really all thanks for watching bye